making these kind of exercises is so boring. I do it each day, 45 minutes long, and I need to hear music. Either music I have to conduct or music I want to hear. In this case, it's Rake's Progress by my god, Igor Stravinsky. idea to bring me to the Viennese Boys Choir. I didn't want, because I, I knew they have to, s they are pro uh, singing and you have to stand and you're uh, not allowed to move and you have to sing beautiful. But then I said finally, okay, uh, probably that makes sense. The Viennese Boys Choir membership was the reason why I decided I want to be a composer. And our artistic leader, Ferdinand Grossmann, finally had a discussion with my parents and said to them, I think he should be a composer, but with, with this hands, he must be a double bass player. Now, this is a bass. I mean, it was a bass. Uh, it, it's not playable anymore. Now I use it as a sculpture here on, on the wall. But I financed my, my life um, for about 40 years. And the bass was the guarantee, playing in the orchestra, to be independent. I never had to write music because of um, uh, chasing a certain amount of fee. I just wrote the music I wanted to write because I was independent and financed myself on the bass. So this is 40 years of my life. <laughs> I had my very first professional position in orchestras when I was 17. The orchestra for me was even more important than any university studying, yeah? because all you need to learn as a composer, you learn in the orchestra. Much better than any teacher can tell you, because my neighbors are musicians. And when I have composed in the night some bars in which I didn't know, is it possible to do it on the horn? Next day, my neighbor was the first horn and said, come on, could you play this for me? Is this possible? Or harp. Harp is one of the most complicated instruments. So you go to the harp player. I learned very early to prepare myself, developing a language which only I can speak. And it was not a problem when I, when I found out later that the language I speak is not the language of, of many other composers. What I write is not what they think is modern. I discovered Weil, Three Penny Opera, and later Kurt Schwerzig showed me Hans Eisler. These two composers were for me an example for composers, for personalities who had to decide in the 20s what to do surrounded by so-called avant-garde composers, atonal composers. How could we simplify music? And my idea was don't imitate what they did, but keep in mind how they did it and react as a musician. Zwar sind in anderen Ländern die Soldaten, Stierkämpfer, Ringer, Rocker, mehr beliebt. 
doch hier zu Land wird jedes Kind erraten, dass es nichts über einen The concept of, of Frankenstein was because the text is subversive, finding a way of writing a subversive music. We have two versions of Frankenstein. One, the first version is the orchestra version. Simon Rettel was the conductor in a concert between La Primitive d'Enfant and Symphonie Fantastique. I will never forget this date. It was the 25th of November, 78. And it was my very first international success. It's a you. Ernst Kovacic. He was one of the very first soloists who came to me. Would you like to write a piece? It's not like an orchestra musician who has to play what he plays. No, he wants to play what he plays. So I wrote him two violin concertos. Yo Yo Ma wrote me a letter. I know you got a commission to write a piece for, for a small ensemble. Just in case it would be a cello concerto, the premiere would be on the 3rd of August, 89. So I couldn't resist. <laughs> Hockan Hardenberger, I think, is the most interesting trumpet player in the world. Hockan came one day to Vienna and said, could you come to my hotel? I want to show you all the possibilities I have on the trumpet. And then I asked him, Hockan, did you ever play on a cow horn? And he said, no, no, no. Two months later, I came home. And on my answering machine, I saw, uh, blink, it was blinking, a message. And, and I pushed the button and I heard, <laughs> obviously a message was from Sweden. It was Hockan uh, showing, uh, let me, uh, 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 presenting his cow horn. When you hear the cow horn passage in Ariel, it's very impressive. I have here a wonderful house, I have here a wonderful garden, and I have one of the most wonderful wives with, with, with which I married, Franca, and that makes a very good life. You see her here in the background, here is one of her tapestries. So uh, my life is full of harmony here. I want to be authentic, yeah, and I want to communicate. All I want to offer is music. Mm -hmm. 